Yep, it's the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. Charlemagne the God, Angela Yee, DJ Envy. Uh, we got front page news coming up right now. Angela Yee? Yes, yeah, so of course, we're all talking about the debates from last night. Did you watch? I did watch. I caught the uh, last two hours when I was on the plane. I saw a lot of people talking about who were the big winners and losers. Who did you like? I don't think that there was any winners and losers last night. Like, it's hard to watch those elections and not think Trump 2020, not because the Democrats don't be speaking of things of substance, but because none of them are entertaining. And I hate to say it, but you got to be entertaining nowadays to capture the casual voters, to get get people energized about coming to the polls. I don't see anything transformative up there. All right. Well, I'll tell you what did happen. We'll give you some highlights. Now, Andrew Yang, you know, he's been talking about this dividend that he thinks people should get the $1,000 and he's going to test it out. Here's what he said. My campaign will now give a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month for an entire year to 10 American families. Someone watching this at home right now. If you believe that you can solve your own problems better than any politician, go to Yang2020.com and tell us how $1,000 a month will help you do just that. Uh, well, he'll get 10 extra voters because of that. Those, <laughs> those 10 families, he got them on lock. All right. Now, another thing that happened was Beto O'Rourke, people and everyone on stage is really commending him on his stance when it comes to gun control. Are you proposing taking away their guns and how would this work? I am. If it's a weapon that was designed to kill people on a battlefield. In Odessa, I met the mother of a 15-year-old girl who was shot by an AR-15. Mm-hmm. And that mother watched her bleed to death over the course of an hour because so many other people were shot by that AR-15 in Odessa and Midland. There weren't enough ambulances to get to them in time. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. Uh, I forgot Beto O'Rourke was even on that stage last night. You know what? And I think uh, because this is a debate, right? So everybody was going back and forth and trying to play each other. But everybody did big him up. And I think it shows also in a way that they're not feeling threatened. He just gets lost, man. Being a young uh, cisgendered uh, uh, male loving Let's not make any assumptions about what his gender or sexuality we don't You're know very true but he got he gets lost on that stage all right. right now joe biden he was asked about uh, barack obama and the deportation policies when they were in office when biden was vice president and obama was president and all the negative backlash they got here's what he said you didn't answer the question, well, the question I, I did, did you make the question. A, no did you make a mistake with those deportations the president did the best thing that was able to be done at the how about time. you i'm the vice president of the united states all right, and what people don't like about Joe Biden is that he will invoke Barack Obama's name whenever it's uh, to his benefit, but whenever there's p- policies that are questioned, then it's all of a sudden, well, it wasn't my decision. And one person that pointed that out was Julian Castro. My problem with Vice President Biden, and Corey pointed this out last time, is every time something good about Barack Obama comes up, he says, oh, I was there, I was there, I was there. That's me too. And then every time somebody questions part of the administration that we were both part of, he says, well, that was the president. I mean, he wants to take credit for Obama's work, but not have to answer to any questions. You got a point. I did not say I don't stand. I stand with Barack Obama all eight years. Good, bad and indifferent. It's a damn shame that Joe Biden is the front runner because you cannot look on that stage and say to yourself, he is like the runaway top tier candidate that the Democrats should be getting behind. Because I don't know what the hell Joe Biden be talking about 90 percent of the time. He just be rambling. 